Peyton and Ninja Kids TV have had some sad moments that many fans don't know about. In this video, we'll be counting down YouTubers' most emotional moments. You guys have to see Peyton's clip because it's just insane. But first, we have an emotional moment from SS Sniper Wolf, a YouTuber with over 34 million subscribers who barely escapes a big car accident. This clip shows her reaction when apparently she got hit by a drunk driver and it shows the aftermath of what the cars look like. And yeah, she barely escapes alive, but definitely never drink and drive. And drop a like if you sub to Sniper Wolf. Anyways, back to the story. I, the first thing I did was take pictures of everything, call my mom. I did a little commentary thing video here. In the car. He's like drunk or asleep or I don't know what. Look what the happened to my car. I was sitting at the light and then I, my head goes flying. If I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, I would have died. I would have died. I don't know if the guy is dead in the car, sleeping, drunk, what? Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. Next up, we have Guava Juice, a YouTuber with over 16 million subscribers. And this one is a rare clip as you don't really see Guava Juice sad or even cry all that often. So Guava Juice is at the airport and he has to say goodbye to his family. And that's really sad when his family has to go home and he doesn't get to see them often. I think they live really far, so his time is limited. And drop a like if you'd be sad too. This is so sad. Bye guys. Less time you'll see them. In this clip, we have Preston Plays, a YouTuber with over 15 million subscribers and his wife Brianna watching a Roblox sad story video. A little backstory to this, the guy in the video is talking about his old girlfriend who died 30 years ago and Preston and Brianna are reacting to it. This is so sad. Comment below if you play Roblox too and drop a like for the guy who made this. 30 years later? Really big time skip, guys. Wow. The girl's name was Abigail. It's been nearly 30 years since she died that day. Wow. She I still died. think about her all the time. That's sad. Her smile. <laughs> Why? I don't like this. Look, we're about to get married. I don't like this story. I don't either. This is not okay. Wait, I have to actually say something. If you know a scary guy like Drew, don't talk to him mm -hmm. anymore. And don't put up with that. Look, you'll find a guy who treats you right. They have to build you up, not yeah. down. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. Amen, sis. Can we have a moment for him? Bow your head. Just sensei. Not, not Omega, Omega Nova. Nova. He's our sensei. That's a lot of dead Roblox players. It's depressing. It's a lot. You know, I was in a good mood. Next, we have Jelly, a big gaming YouTuber with 23 million subscribers. And in this clip, he reacts to one of the saddest videos on the internet. Make sure to watch till the end because he starts getting super sad and even looks like he's about to cry at one point. Guys, drop a like if this clip made you sad too. Okay, the saddest 10 seconds video ever. <laughs> We miss her too. That is really sad. That is really sad. That is seriously sad though. How how does the dog even know that the dog can smell the person underneath there or something? That is pretty That's pretty, yeah. I have three dogs myself, guys, and dogs are the best things that can happen to anyone. If you don't have a dog yet, make sure you go get a dog. Adopt one, though. Don't buy them. Don't, don't buy dogs. Adopt one. They're free, and they're equally as cute and probably even cuter, and you're saving the world by doing that, you know? Not really saving the world, but you're saving a dog, because otherwise they're dead. And you don't want that. That's really sad. That'll make me cry, actually. <laughs> In this clip, we have Salish Matter and the moment she starts tearing up, this is so sad because you normally never see her emotional or even cry, but as she was doing gymnastics, she was attempting to perform and the trick ends up not going as good as she hoped. Of course, no one can be perfect, so don't be discouraged. You guys gotta see this sad moment. Salish feels pretty comfortable attempting the back handspring. Press your lunge, press your lunge. Even with a spot, Salish is still wobbly on the beam. She's not trusting herself. And now this is a big moment. Her coach is going to give her a lighter spot, so Salish is almost entirely on her own. Oh, that is the worst thing that could have happened right now. So 
she's been training a lot and slips off without a spotter. This is super scary and sad to see that she's getting discouraged. Luckily, Jordan is there to cheer her up and drop a like for Jordan being such a good dad. Do you feel comfortable trying again right now? Salish is a tough girl and she rarely shows her emotions in public, but right now she's having a hard time holding it in. What we do in social media and on, you know, we always just show the best, right? And everybody's like, wow, Salish is such a great gymnast, which you are, but you also struggle like everybody else does. And Andrea's not gonna let you do anything that's unsafe. Next up, we have Dan TDM, a YouTuber with over 28 million subscribers. And if you're an animal lover, you might want to have a tissue ready because this next clip shows Dan TDM talking about his pet Peggy having to be put down. Of course, he was super sad the whole time and even starts crying. I would be so sad too, but drop a like if you'd be sad if this happened to your pet. So some of you will know this already, but um, through social media and stuff, but um, unfortunately yesterday, we had to we had to say goodbye to Peggy. We had to her. Uh, she was never really a, a well dog anyway. So so yesterday she was just deteriorating deteriorating really badly, and we made the decision to put her to sleep before before it got even worse. She was not in pain. She wasn't uncomfortable, but. If we left it any longer, then she would eventually be in pain and very uncomfortable, and we didn't want that for her. So, when I introduced you to her um, about a year ago, just under a year ago, we'd already had her for a bit, and I didn't introduce you to her so soon, like as soon as we got her, because we had her for over a year and nine months. But I didn't introduce you to her straight away, because we knew she didn't have a great outlook in life, but... We managed to make it so that she could have a good outlook on life and she managed to last way longer, like a year plus longer than we thought she would in the first place. So we always knew this day would come, we just didn't really know. Next up, we have Peyton Delu having an emotional moment with her parents and even crying while at the hospital. This is crazy because you never really see Peyton or any Ninja Kids TV members crying, but Peyton had to get surgery on her tonsils and her mom got really sad about this, leading to a sad moment. Drop a like for Peyton being so brave. Luckily, the surgery was a success, and this is pretty serious, as if she didn't get this surgery, she would have a hard time breathing, and this could end tragically. Some people thought her dad or even brothers had this issue due to genetics, and this could have also ended badly. But luckily, I looked into it, and they're all okay. That'd be so sad. Like, imagine if the dad or brothers didn't make it. The videos just wouldn't be the same. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Like the video and subscribe and click on one of the other videos on the right. See you guys.